This time we'll implement multiple jumps and we'll do it under one minute. If you don't have any platform movement, learn how to create one under frame minutes using this tutorial. Fury time. To make the character jump, we usually assign positive value to its rigid body vertical velocity. Of course, after the jump button is pressed. Without any constraints, this will make the character jump every single time the jump button is pressed. In order to prevent that, we usually check if the character is standing on the ground. However, if we want to allow the character to jump multiple times, we simply remove this check. If we want to restrict the number of jumps, we simply have to track how many jumps the character can still perform and of course reset the value every time the character lands on the ground. Let's implement it. In your platform movement script, introduce variable to store the maximum number of jumps. Create another one to store the number of jumps the character is still able to perform. In the start method, assign the maximum number of jumps to it. When gathering the input, make sure you check only for the button down event. Instead of checking if the character stands on the ground, check if it can perform any more jumps. If it can, decrease the number of jumps left. Whenever the character is touching the ground and its velocity is less or equal to zero, reset the number of jumps left. The velocity check is very important. It prevents resetting jumps left after the first jump. We are done. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a fantastic day, love you and bye bye.